sir. You good? I believe that. Hey, Miss, how you doing today? Yeah. I just followed you on Facebook yesterday. You followed me yesterday? Yes. God bless you with a Bible. So, I think you're gonna like it. It's gonna help you get through whatever you're going through. Thank Alrighty? You. Okay. Have a good day. Hey, some people denying the blessing. Some people denying the blessing of the Bible. You feel me? Have a good one, girl. You too, thank you. God bless you. Shalom, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakagadash, Shalom, Lubakarim, Shomo, Yasharada. Double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, to the old elect out there near the up lady. It's only for the house of mourning, this is only for the house of faith, those that subscribe and believe truly, sincerely, to the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. Now, I want to touch on this. It's going to be a, a, a quick one. It ain't going to be too long. <clears throat> Early morning plantation. Um, so this guy right here, this is, um, he called himself Greatness. He has a t-shirt with a money sign on it with Greatness and also has the cross. So this guy right here, he appears to, he appears to, uh, to look like an Edomite, but at the end of the day, only Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai knows. Um, he goes around, he goes around giving people money, but, but for the most part, what I notice is um, he's um, he's giving money to the to the tribes. I've noticed that he give it to the northern tribes, so-called Hispanics, and southern tribes, so-called blacks. I noticed that a lot. He goes around, he, you know, just give money, gives money away, you know? Um, so the reason why I'm pointing this out is because, you know, money, I mean, no matter what you do in this world, you can give money, you can, um, you can walk an old lady across the street, you can help people. Those are good things you can do as a human being. But at the end of the day, that's not going to save you, you know? And plus, the whole concept of money, you know, the way it's being conducted by this dude, you know, it's not the way that, you know, you try to teach people about the Bible. You see, he had a Bible, he had money inside, he said, hey, they denying the blessing. You know, you know a normal, a normal person, they're going to think about the money. They're not really going to think about the Bible because these people out here, they lost faith. You know, Yahweh Shai actually said that. If I, if I come into the world, would, would I find faith? This is a faithless generation, but at the end, it's only for the elect, all right? These people out here, they're under a, a cloud of, dark, of darkness, man. So this man, you know, he may be doing something humanly right, trying to help people, but the whole message and the whole conduct of it is wrong. Then you got a shirt with money sign on it and a cross. You know, you got your head covered. You know, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just the wrong message. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a couple of scriptures. Let me get Zephaniah 1 and 18. Neither their silver nor their gold, you know, um, shall be able to deliver them in a day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a spitty riddance of all them that dwell in the land. So as much money you give or much money you have at the end, um, you're not going to be able to escape the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Psalms 49 and 6, they that trust in their wealth, and boast themselves in a multitude of their riches. None of them can by any means redeem his brother. So you may give people money, you know, you may help them out. This is what you, this is what this man does. He goes around just giving money, blessing people. 
at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to save that person. You know, when Jacob's trouble come, when, you know, them nuclear missiles are uh, being shot into the, into the air and destroying the land. All that money that you're giving out, that's not going to help no one. You're not going to be able to uh, 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 help uh, these people that you're giving money to. The message is supposed to be, we warning in the highways about the impending danger based on the prophecies that's coming through Babylon the Great. Not going around, giving people money, you know, which is okay because, you know, I do it. You know, when I have a couple of dollars, I give homeless people, I help people whenever I can. But the message is wrong. The whole message is wrong, especially when you advertise yourself with greatness, with money sign on your shirt. You know, this is just all wrong. Now, he might come out, he might, you know, it, it might come from a good place in his heart. But at the end of the day, the scripture talks about your heart is deceiving above all things. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that next. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in a multitude of their rich. None of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to the Most High Yahweh a ransom for him. Scripture talks about, you know, uh, let's get, let's go there. Let's go there real quick. Philippians 2, I think it's 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So at the end of the day, every soul is required to fight for his own salvation. You know, some are just, their lot is just to be destroyed, you know, and some are to be saved. You know, uh, the elect will be saved. Two thirds will be destroyed. Heathens and Edomites will be destroyed. Babylon the Great. Verse 8, for the redemption of their soul is precious and it sees it forever that he should still live forever and not see corruption. So there's no rights. You can't do nothing to help people, even if you give them money. It's just not going to work. You know, it's not going to work. Proverbs 24 and 10, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. See, a lot of men in Israel, they fall out because... They get weak spiritually. You know, at, um, adversity and prosperity belongs to the Lord. See, that's the thing. That's the snare. That's the stumbling block that's in his truth. The excitement part is you learning you're an Israelite. You know, you become excited about it. You start learning. You, you study. And then... Down the line, when adversity comes and problems, you start having problems, um, and it could be money issues. A lot of time, it is money issues. You know, nine out of ten, brothers and sisters, we always go, you know, through these money problems. Every brother in the truth, I don't care if you got a good job, I don't care if you, you know what I'm saying, you got less bills than others, we all go through that same problem when it comes to money. We all you know, have financial problems, all right? That's a fact through the spirit, man. So, you know, you, 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 you get overwhelmed by these financial difficulties. And when you're in this truth, you're going to be tested. The Lord, could, the Lord is going to bring you low. You're going to be able, listen, one moment you'll be on top, Everything seems good, and then, you know, there'll be a time where just things just ain't right. I'm telling you, it's coming. You know, it's going to happen, and you're going to have to be able to suck it up and pray. You know, the Scripture talks about how the Lord is able to help you escape temptation, man. Matter of fact, I want to get that. That's a good one. I want to get that real quick, all right? Because that's what you forget. Uh, you know, these Israelites, First Corinthians 10 and 13. Let's get that real quick. You know, you get overwhelmed, you know, and you fall out, you know. First Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. 
But the Most High, Yahweh, is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. All right? So, no matter what you go through in life, the Heavenly Father is able to help you. He's going to help you. You know, you fall into a, a financial debt, a crisis, you get sick. You know, these are things that happen to us, man. Your, your car breaks down, you got a flat tire, you got a migraine headache. Someone, even if someone, um, a loved one dies in your family or a friend or, you know, you're just sick, you're in a hospital, you know, the Heavenly Father is going to help you. He's going to guide you through that because that comes with the package of being an Israelite coming into this truth. That's part of repenting, converting back to this truth. You know, that's why uh, Apostle Paul said, uh, be a good soldier, man. You know what I mean? We have to be a good soldier in this thing, man. Let me see. Uh, so, uh, let me see if I got it. Oh, to Apostle B7 soldiers. You know, I'm going to just type it in. Maybe I'll find it. This this thing is, is not an easy task, man. You got to prepare your... Oh, Sirach 22. I mean, 2. Goes into the uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou, therefore... Matter of fact, let me start at the top. Thou, therefore, my son... Matter of fact, you see the title, A Good Soldier of Yahweh Mashiach. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men. All right? And ultimately, that's our job as the men of the Lord. We're out in the highways. You know, we're looking for the elect, and we're hoping that we're part of it. You know, because we're trying to seal the elect so Yahweh Shai could come and destroy this place, man. Who shall be able to teach others also, see? Thou therefore endured hardness as a good soldier of Amashiach Yahweh Shai. See, we have to endure hardness. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go and get that. And let's look at this word hardness in the blue letter. The staying of ours. This walk, being in his truth, is where we constantly keep saying it's not about being an Israelite, you know, wearing a tribe of Judah shirt, you know, having canes and sticks walking and, and banging them on the floor, having a, a, a crown on your head um, or with gems, fake gems and uh, shooting, uh, uh, screaming loud, condemning the white man. No, man, it's not all about that, man. You know, you, you got to be circumcised in the, um, in the spirit, in your heart. All right? Look at that. Suffer. See that? To suffer, endure evil, hardships, troubles, to be afflicted. See, there's no, you don't even have to break this down or explain it. This is self-explanatory. This is part of the ministry. All right? This is part of the ministry. You know, and we're gonna go through that, man. Let me get um prosperity and the uh, pros prosperity and adversity. Yes, yeah, Sirach eleven and fourteen. Let's get that through the spirit. Sirach eleven and fourteen. All right, all things from the Most High. You see, all things come from Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. You know, there's no free will. You know, if you're going through hell, it's because the Lord is putting you through the fire. You know, and you want to be gold. Now, even Apostle Paul went into that. Some of us are, are, are gold, silver, wood, hay, stubble. You want to be gold. You want to pray that you are that precious gold, that the, the, the elect. Because when gold is tried in the fire... It's purified. Gold is purified, man. Anything else like hay and stubble, they just get burnt. 
You know what I mean? You want to be gold. All right? You want to come out at the end being purified with this truth, this word. Edify in your spirit, man. Verse 14. Let's read it. Sirach 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. See? Everything comes from the Lord. So when you're having that bad day in Babylon the Great and hell, well, guess what? It's coming from the Lord, and we have to accept that. We have to accept that, man. You know, even Job, and we know the story of Job, naked I came. Let me see. Naked I came. I know it's like, yep, Job 121, all right, and said, matter of fact, let's go up to verse 20. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord Yahweh gave, and the Lord Yahweh have taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. And all this Job sinned not, nor charge the Most High Yahweh foolishly. See? So at the end of the day, he didn't curse out the Heavenly Father, which our people, for the most part in the world, being carnal, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they go against the law, man. But we have to have that integrity like Job. Job had integrity. You know, later in Job's story, we read about his, um, his wife, the weaker vessel, you know, being Eve as she is, you know, discouraging him, man. You know, being, being an Eve. And what did he do? What did he say? Um... Where's that at? Uh, man, I want to get that scripture. See if I can find it. Um, call, he called her a foolish woman. Foolish. I think he called her a foolish woman. There, Job, there you go. Job 2, 7 and 10. The next chapter. Let's get that real quick. Job 2, 7. So when Satan forth from the presence of the Lord, Yahweh, and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. And he took him a pot shirt to scrape himself with thou, and he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Do thou still retain thy integrity? Curse the Most High Yahweh and die. See? A weaker vessel. This is Eve for you, man. It show you that Eve... Is the weaker vessel, man. That's why you need a man to keep you in order, you know? But that's another story, you know? Verse 10, but he said unto her, this is the point. Let's see what Job said. But he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High Yahweh? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. See, we got to pray to have the integrity of Job when we go through these adversities here in Babylon the Great. You know, riches can blind you. Having money can blind you. Can you imagine if the Lord bless you all year round, nothing is happening? You know what I'm saying? You will be derailed. You will be blinded. You will be destroyed. You know, that's why Christianity, prosperity Christianity is wicked, is a false, is a false message around the world. And this is why the Lord is going to destroy them harlot houses, man. You know, he's going to destroy them. You better believe it. Riches is not going to save you, my man. You giving people money is not going to save you. All right. Um, let me see if I got something else right here. I think that's the point through the spirit. 
You know, at the end of the day, all this money is not going to save you. You helping people with money. You have to be a, a, at the end of the day, you have to be a man of the law, a prophet. You have to be an Israelite. You got to be able to go out there and teach the people, warn them of the danger that's coming. Not give them money, put it in the Bible, and then tell them it's a blessing and all this. No, you have to warn them of what's coming. You know? That's what's coming. Let's get that real quick. Um, scripture's just popping up in my head through the Spirit. Acts 5 and 15. Okay. Is it Acts 5 and 15? Let me see. Uh, damn. Acts 5 and, and by the hands of the apostles, they're also, you know, uh, be circumspect. Let me see. Be circumspect. Bear with me, brothers. I'll find it. Trust me, I'll find it. Damn. Man. Where are you? I know it's in the book of Acts. Wait, let's go to redeeming the time. Redeeming. The times. Are you serious? The days are evil. Bear with me. I'm I'm gonna end it with this one. Damn. Let me go in my notes. Demon. Ephesians 5. I was just 5. I was just there. 14. Oh my God. I was, I was, it's 14. Wait a second. Ephesians. I was in Acts a lot. <laughs> hey, it happens, brothers. It happens, man. It happens. Ephesians 5. I was in Acts. Wow. Man, I should read that in Acts. Maybe it's a message. Maybe the Lord's speaking. I right, Ephesians 5. I'm going to start at 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Amashia, Yahweh should give thee light, man. You know, hey, our people are spiritually dead out here. Spiritually dead, man. You know, I just watched, I just watched, on YouTube, Eve eating a 50 cent burger and being proud about it, man. And you tell me that's not being spiritually dead. Verse 13, this is the point. See then that ye walk circumspectly. That word circumspect is about what we say in growing up in the hood. Watch, watch your circle, man. You know? Not as fools. But as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See? And, and that's, that's the message that he should be bringing out. You know, but 9 out of 10, these, these men, they're driven by prosperity Christianity. You know? And they think they're going to get points with the Lord by doing this. No, the Lord is not going to give you points by doing this. The Lord might just have you doing this just so he can help, so he can help certain people that's in poverty or need money. You may have money and the Lord takes your money and give it to the poor. That's how the Lord works. I've seen it happen so many times. I've seen it. I experienced, I experienced that as well. You know, the Lord can do that. He could take money from rich people and give it to, to the poor. That's how the Lord works. The Lord is amazing, man. Yahweh Yahshua is amazing. You know, at the end of the day, you should be content of what you have. You know, um, but this is not the message, man. This is not. Call all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakarium, Shaw, Yasharala, 
double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shadowam, to the old elect and the elect lady. All praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Again, this is only for the house of mourning and the house of faith. Sincere brothers and sisters, those that testify, subscribe to the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, man. Shalom, Lord willing, you was um, edified in the spirit.